Good morning, YouTubians, and welcome back to our series, The Anti-Trump Cat. This is number five in our series. Um, and as usual, our guest is Mr. Mackie McKee. Now, as we all know, Mackie McKeith has been doing a delicate balancing act and leading two lives. First, as leader of the anti-Trump crusade, which he also created, and which has been gaining momentum throughout the country. But he is also Secretary of Blake's in Donald Trump's cabinet. Uh, Blake stands for butt licking, ass kissing, and ego stroking. So, Mr. McKeith, we have a lot of territory to cover today, so why don't we adjourn to a less precarious perch for our, for our talk? Oh, yes, that's, that's much better. Okay, Mr. McKeith, it is Inauguration Week in Washington. Are you excited? Oh, I see. Well, as let's talk about your double life. As leader of the anti-Trump crusade, uh, what have you been able to accomplish? The pussy hat project? Oh, those little pink hats with the little cat ears that all the women demonstrators wore in the marches. Oh, they were cute. I mean, wow, so many cities throughout the world had, had rivers of pink streaming through their streets. And, you know, even in countries where you'd least expect it, there they were. Now, as we all know, you are secretary of butt-licking, ass-kissing, and ego-stroking within President Trump's cabinet. Uh, my question to you is this. Does, do your duties extend to the entire cabinet, or, or does this uh, licking, kissing, and stroking take place directly under Donald Trump? What? You think I should rephrase that? Ah, uh, no, let's move on. Tell me, have you been able to learn any new information from your position in the cabinet? What? You hear that there is some unsettling news from across the pond, from England? What's going on? You understand that the Queen... It, wait, the musical group? Oh no, the Queen is so upset by our new president that she is threatening to take back our independence? Can she do that? I mean, I mean, I know she was really pissed off at him when he played her anthem, We Are the Champions, at the nominating uh, convention, despite her, her objection. But, but if she does this, I mean, how will it affect us? What? So long, Starbucks, hello, tea time, every afternoon at four with crumpets. What's a crumpet? A unit in the metric system? Oh, no, do we have to learn the metric system? Okay, what else? You think Donald Trump is envious and wants to be queen? The musical group? Oh, the other one with pearls and a hat. Okay, uh, how so? He wants to be a figurehead and leave all the work to others, like Theresa May. Theresa May Alcott, the poet? Oh, no, 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 Theresa May, the prime minister. Okay, uh, what's her last name? Theresa May May, huh? Oh, um, okay. Okay, let me summarize. The queen, not the musical group, is so upset with our new president, she is going to rescind our independence and we all have to drink tea, even though we already had a tea party in Boston a while ago, and learn the metric system and maybe pay 200 years in back taxes. And Donald Trump wants to be just like the queen, not the musical group with keyboard and guitar, but the one with pearls and a flowery hat, and leave all the work to Theresa May May, our new prime minister here in the United States of England. Okay, okay, I may have thrown in an alternative fact or two, but it seems to be all the rage these days. But anyway, Mr. McKeith. But, 
Uh, Mr. McKeith, wait. Wait, where are you going? It's raining outside. You don't care. You need fresh air. Okay, well, just as well, because your press secretary, Kitty Ann, says I have to go now. So, you tubians, until next time, toodaloo and ta-ta. Well, Hector, I could use a spot of tea right now. What? You're going to hit the pub? Much better idea. Turn off the camera.